Let's all go to the Mom, and happy weekend. Happy weekend to you. We've got a lot of movies coming out, and some of them are really good, but all of them are really tense and violent. As long as they're good. <laughs> Let's start with Black Mass. How long have we been waiting for Johnny Depp to be in another good movie and give a good <laughs> performance? Forever, right? He is mesmerizing as real-life, most-wanted criminal Whitey Bulger, second only to Osama bin Laden on the FBI's most-wanted list. What's the family secret recipe? It's, gr- it's ground garlic. A little bit of soy. I thought it was a family secret. And you gave it up to me, boom. Maybe you spill a little something about me tomorrow. I was just saying that. You were just saying. Just saying. Could get you buried real quick. Personally responsible for about 19 murders. He really ran a big crime family in Boston. What's interesting about this movie, though, is that it shows that the FBI was helping him. Uh, They thought that he would help them go after some even worse guys, but, you know, he's a crook. He was not trustworthy, and it's about what happened then. Amazing cast in this movie. Benedict Cumberbatch plays his brother, who is a politician. Kevin Bacon is in it, because why not? Kevin Bacon has to be in everything. Uh, The wonderful Corey Stoll. Joel Edgerton is the FBI guy. Really well done. Very brutally violent. This is sort of like Goodfellas type movie, but Johnny Depp is fantastic. And you see how he gets to be more of a hardened criminal over the years. Okay, so that's a good one. Then if you want to see a lot of other Hollywood big stars die, you also got Everett. This is not a spoiler alert. This actually happened. We all remember when it happened. There was a best-selling book about it, Into Thin Air by John Krakauer, who was on the most disastrous Everest climb ever. You know, it was impossible for me to care about any of these people because A, they spent $65,000 to do something stupid. And B, they spent $65,000 Five thousand dollars to do something stupid, <laughs> and then they climb Mount Everest. And one thing that happens when you're up there is your brain swells, and you get even stupider. The scenery is incredible. It's IMAX 3D. You will look down and feel like you are on top of Mount Everest, which will save you sixty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we might still do something stupid, though. <laughs> yeah, not that stupid. You know, I'm sorry about what happened to all those people, but are they nuts? Not like, say, the Perfect Storm which is a similar kind of movie because those people were just doing their job. These are just self-indulgent idiots. Plus, I don't want to be rude about it, but they're all wearing parkas and masks. You can't keep track of who is who. You're like, wait, the North Face guy is this one? (laughs) Is Jake Gyllenhaal wearing the hood? So it was hard for me to connect to that. All right, another true story, very violent this week. David Oyelo, who we last saw as the saintly Martin Luther King in Selma, is the very not saintly real-life guy who escaped from prison, killed four people, and then took a woman named Ashley Smith hostage in this movie called Captive. Now, you might remember this story. She's the one who read aloud to him from Rick Warren's book, The Purpose Driven Life, managed to escape and turned her own life around. Just a very compelling depiction of that story that we've already heard about on Oprah and all of that. And then we've got the second Maze Runner book. This one's called The Scorch Trial. Now, I really liked the first Maze Runner. I thought it was a really compelling premise. Very, very well done. This second one, it's like he ran out of ideas and said, I'm just going to throw everything into it. I mean, there are zombies this time. We've got zombies. Zombies, sandstorm, evil doctors doing horrible medical procedures, drugs and a disco. They just, he just like, maybe if I throw a lot of things at the screen and we keep it going really fast, nobody will notice that I have no idea where this is going. Everything but Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that's this week at the theaters. On DVD, a couple of good choices. The last Fast and Furious movie, although it looks like there's going to be another one, but Fast Furious 7, the sad farewell to Paul Walker. The very, very beautiful Cinderella from Disney. You can catch this review. Movie mom.com of course but we always have a link and you can hear the interview at wjbq.com have yourself a great weekend movie mom i'll catch up with you next week bye-bye bye